have met your match in the Lord your God. Have I not commanded you? I don't even want to hear it out of your mouth why you can't. I am the greater one. I am the power within you. I am the one who calls you by name. I know what you got because I put it in you. I know what you don't have because I left it out. And I command you to be courageous. When God called Moses, Moses was reluctant to do what God had called him to do. And Moses had a million excuses, and so do you. Why you can't be it, why you can't do it, why you can't go forward in it. Come on. I think inside that at some point we put our heads down on the pillow and we go, there's got to be more to life than this. Get up in the morning, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to bed. Get up in the morning, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to bed. Go to parties on weekends. A lot of people say, I'm living. No, you're not living. That's just existing. Your life will follow the direction of your conversation. Your courage comes from your conversation. So does your fear. So does your discouragement. Not just your conversations with others, but your conversation with yourself. What I am today, I decided to become. You should stop blaming people for your state in life. Whatever you are right now, you decided to be. That includes broke, busted, poor, and ugly. But for you to succeed in life, there are five questions you must answer. And every human being on earth is trying to answer these questions right now. These five questions control the human race. These five questions motivate everything you do. These five questions are so powerful that they create everything in this planet that humans do. These five questions are the source of all of your problems. They are the source of all the crime in your city. They are the source of all of your broken homes and divorce. They are the source of all corruption. These five questions are the source of every problem a human faces. Number one, who am I? Now, the first question, who am I, is a question of identity. Write it down next to it. The average human is still struggling with self-identity. That is why most of us are other people. For example, you wear Michael Jordan. You don't wear yourself. Because you ain't got no identity, you want to be like them. So you need to put on other people's identity to feel important. The second question that you must answer to become successful in life is, where am I from? That's a question, write it down, or source. If you try to find out where you are from by using your ethnic heritage, You can never know who you are until you find out where you are from. So we got a problem. That's why you can't find out where you are from. Because you don't know who you are. And that is why you don't know who you are. Because you don't know where you're from. The third question is what? Why am I here? This is the most difficult one that people ask. It's the question of purpose. The fourth question every human must answer to be successful is what can I do? The fourth question, what can I do, is what? Potential. Potential means what is my true power? The problem is our culture attempts to tell us what we can do. And the last question every human is grappling with is the question, where am I going? It is the question of destiny. We've all got something that we, we're talking ourselves out of. What are you talking yourself out of right now that God is trying to bring you into? Our problem is that we spend too much time listening to ourselves and not enough time talking to ourselves. You can talk yourself 
into it just like you've been talking yourself out of it because nobody can talk you into your destiny but you. I can encourage myself and stop get forfeiting your future for your fear of people. Stop forfeiting your future for your fear of failure. You hear me? Stop forfeiting your future because of what they might think about you.